Hi, and welcome to our Terrain tutorial. We've recently introduced the Terrain system in D5 2.9, which helps you create diverse landscapes with ease. In this video, we'll show how to use the Terrain tool effectively in this project. Let's dive in. Currently, our scene lacks essential topography around the structure. It's really important for showing off the architecture from various angles and creating a lifelike visualization. We're thinking of adding a beach and a sea with mountains around them right in front of the building. Our goal is for these elements to blend seamlessly. To begin with, we can work on the sea. Next up, the landscape. You'll find a new icon on the top menu bar. Click on it to create a terrain, and you'll see its controller appear in the resource list. You can easily hide or show the terrain by toggling the eye icon. A terrain automatically appears in new D5 2.9 scenes. Feel free to delete it if it's not needed. When you select this terrain controller, a corresponding menu with additional options will be displayed. The terrain system has three primary features, sculpt, paint, and manage. You can import custom black and white height maps in the manage panel and adjust the height value to generate terrains accordingly. These terrains also supports further fine tuning. The sculpt panel enables you to customize the terrain shapes with multiple tools. First, the brush tool includes upward, downward, erase smooth and flatten. Upward elevates the ground. and downward does the opposite. The erase brush resets any part of your terrain back to square one. Moving on to the fourth brush, the smooth. This one is great for smoothing out those sharp edges and creating gentle undulations. Flatten can level out slopes to create platforms. Each brush comes with four customizable settings to tweak size, strength, edge falloff, and texture. You can experiment with different combinations to achieve more sculpting effects. Additionally, D5 prepares a bunch of height map resources to save you from the manual labor of sculpting. Just click on the plus button to access these resources. Choose your favorite and drag and drop it onto the ground. It will instantly form a realistic terrain. Feel free to move it around and adjust the size, rotation, height, and edge falloff to get that perfect, organic look. And the best part is any terrains you create from these height maps will blend together flawlessly. In our project, the sea is temporarily covered by the terrain. To solve this issue, simply choose the downward brush, adjust its settings, and paint over the ground in front of the building. You can start by roughly painting the area for the sea, and then refine its edges to blend seamlessly with the structure's site. To enrich the surrounding landscape and hide the horizontal, we recommend adding several terrains using height map resources. Let's proceed to the paint panel. The paint tool is super handy for assigning different textures to the ground, slope, and peak of your terrain. Here's how it works in a scene. You'll see the ground texture on flatter areas, the slope texture on steeper regions, and the peak texture at the top of a terrain. 
the paint tool allows you to apply up to six different materials on the ground surface. Simply click the plus button to pick your favorite material from the library. Use the brush tool to apply it. And feel free to switch between materials as you paint. You can delete or replace any material easily. Click on the material thumbnail for more options including UV scaling and color adjustment. Now, about the slope texture. It has two extra tweaks you can make. Erosion, which affects the area and range of the slope texture. And weathering, which adjusts the strength of the weathering effect. A higher value means a more pronounced effect. The peak texture has four special settings too. Peak altitude sets where the peak texture begins, say, at 500 meters. Only areas above this altitude will show the peak texture. The other three settings help manage how smoothly the peak transitions into the slope textures. To keep material editing straightforward, we've also provided a bunch of material templates, similar to what we do with the Sculpt tool. Just click the button in the texture section to access these templates. Looking for a desert? Select the relevant template, and it'll be instantly applied. In our project, since we're aiming to create a beach next to the sea, we'll start by selecting a sand texture and applying it to the ground. To get even better results, we'll fine-tune the texture UV. For a more realistic appearance, we've decided to add another layer of sand texture, this time giving it a darker color to mimic the look of wet sand. Once the terrain is all set, we'll spruce it up by quickly adding plants using the D5 scatter tool, and we'll place a few vehicles and boats to bring the scene to life. Now, it's time to output our renderings. Don't forget to use our AI enhancer feature to boost the realism even further. Welcome to download D5 for free at d5render.com and try the terrain system on your own. Thanks for watching.